Well, we're over here at the shop today. Uh, we are going to be putting a new prop on the uh, Mercury on the Bayliner. This is our boat, it's a Bayliner Trophy. It's a 1994. It's old, uh, but the motors, the 115 Optimax is, um, I want to say that thing is a 2005. There we go. There it is. 2005, and the little one's a 2006. So we got a Pro Kicker. And a 115 Mercury. Um, anyway, it, it make a long story short, I made a huge mistake one time coming back from salmon fishing. We were fishing off the coast of Whidbey Island. And we were coming back into uh, uh, Keystone, the boat launch there. And it also shares with the uh, Whidbey, or not the Whidbey, the Washington State Ferry. And I misread the tide chart and it was a minus tide coming back in and that little boat launch there is narrow and when you put a ferry in there and about 12 other boats trying to go in and out dude I'm telling you it was not fun anyway we were it, tide was out it was pretty low and I took a big old uh, big old bite out of the prop uh, not this one this is the reason why I'm changing um, because this is a 19 pitch prop I don't know what was on there before um, so when I got a new prop for it, I just said, Hey, just give me a prop. I had no idea. It's kind of an experience with this stuff because <clears throat> this boat used to get up and go out of the water pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a cold I'm getting over a cold. It's got trim tabs on it and everything else, but it used to get out of the water pretty good as far as getting up on plane and everything. But once I put this 19 pitch prop on there, Oh dude, it's a mutt. It's, it's been terrible. <clears throat> so uh, it needs some more maintenance, just some minor stuff. I mean, it's got cobwebs. I just washed this thing the other day. It's again, it's a. Uh, <laughs> that's my, that's my grandson Bradley. Say hi, Bradley. Hi, Bradley. <laughs> so that's Bradley. He's here helping today. He's kind of been my helper. Uh, I got another grandson. His name is Ethan, but he's only, he's not even one yet. He's about uh, ten, uh, nine months old, and uh, he's uh, he's gonna be a. Uh, mechanic too just like bradley mechanic hunterman hunterman hunter fisher <laughs> but anyway so we're that's our plan today is bradley and i are going to tackle this prop you want to get up there yeah. go ahead hop in there bud you can't get pretty high huh you want me to lift you up there yeah okay hang on just a sec here let's turn this thing like this there you ready <clears throat> one two three jump oh, you're getting heavy that is for to stand on like i said we just cleaned the boat we took all the upholstery out of it it's uh it's pretty it's pretty uh oxidized i've really got to Take this boat and go around it and she needs a good coat i mean you can see the powdery very powdery finish on it it's not very good so and here comes the love of my life my wife coming to see what we're doing she's coming in her hot rod there's grandma oh my bride came and went just had to stop and bs for a minute but anyway so we're uh putting a prop on this boat we're going to a uh uh a 15 pitch from a 19. This is a Quicksilver Vengeance. Let's hope that it uh, does a trick. I got it from uh, the prop shop over in Muckleteo. I ordered this uh, on a Friday, and it came the next morning, Saturday morning. I mean, I only live over on Whidbey Island, which is just across the Sound. But still, it was just amazing to me how quick it came. Uh, so we're just going to kind of open this thing up. I already opened the box, but anyway. Uh, there's that. And what do you know? I'm sorry, it's not a vengeance, it's a nemesis. It's a Quicksilver nemesis. Um, and what do you know? It's a prop. <laughs> it looks like a prop. It smells like a prop. But we're going from a three blade to a four blade. And uh, that, if you hear that sound over there, that's a wild Bradley, uh, a wild Bradley bird. He'll, uh, he'll be making noise here and there throughout the uh, video, I'm sure. Uh, I think to install this thing, all we need is just uh, the ball peen hammer is only here so I can take the screwdriver and pry the um, 
uh, locking ring off of the nut, and then there's a one sixteen one and one sixteenth inch nut uh, breaker bar to get it off, and then a torque wrench for the fifty five foot pounds of torque wrench or fifty foot fifty five foot pounds of torque that it has to have on the nut. So that's all that stuff there, and we'll begin. So to be honest with you, I'm not really going for a uh, how-to video. There are so many how-to videos out there. This is just what I'm doing to my boat. Um, we're hoping this thing works. Like I said, uh, long story short, this thing uh, took a chunk of prop out a few years back when I was an idiot, uh, when I hit a rock at a boat launch down in uh, Coopville at the Fort Casey boat launch. So uh, the original prop was junk. Uh, I got a new prop. I was dumb enough to not even uh, say what, it, find out what it was. All I did was uh, tell the guy at the boat store, give me a prop for a 115 Merc. And this is what I got. Didn't ask me, he didn't even ask me what boat it was on, what pitch, what nothing. He just pulled the prop off the shelf and off we went. And uh, this thing's been a mutt ever since. So anyway, we're going to uh, take this thing off. One thing I forgot to mention is you need to put a piece of wood or something uh, on the prop. The only thing I had laying around is this long 2x4 and a grandson. Oop, hang on to it, bud. So we're going to go. You got it? You holding it? You got it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's see the loose and that nut is all. I like I forgot uh, this. Um, this prop, we got a brand new uh, hub for it, too. The, uh, the flow torque hub that you need with the, the style of prop, I guess. I don't Like I said, I am no expert, but uh, I've been working on cars and trucks and other junk for a long time. So just kind of, this is what works for us. And again, uh, this is not a tutorial. This is not any way to tell you how to do things, but this is just what we're doing. So we do have the, do have the prop off. Uh, I had to kind of use a hammer to persuade this brass uh, thrust washer off of it again i mean this boat sees a lot of salt water so one of those type of deals but anyway so uh now i'm going to again i don't have my gopro with the chest thing i've all I got all i got is my cell phone so i'm not going to um i'm not gonna try to hold this thing with one hand and do the rest i'm just gonna do this crap and you guys can kind of just follow along once it's done it's done and we'll go from there we got some other stuff to do too uh, i've got to put uh fifth wheel adapter in the uh, tow pig over here because uh, we are pulling the fifth wheel here in a few uh, about a week and a half down to my parents place to visit my brother's coming over from Tennessee with his family so anyway let's get to it new brass washer and it's got a tapered end on it the uh lip kind of i guess you call it the lip faces out but the taper you know it can only go on one way you can't go on that way it goes on that way and seats on the taper hub goes inside shaft new lock tab Nice shiny brass and an old cruddy looking brass. Alright, snug it up. Then call for your assistant. Bradley! Come here, bud! Why do you need to do that again? Because. 
does. Now we gotta go the other way. Why do we need to put that back on? Well, so uh, we have a prop on our boat. Don't you want a prop on your boat? Yeah, we already did. We took one off. This one now is going on. No, that, is that the same one? Nope. Different one. So why is it dirty? Why is it dirty? Yeah. It's not dirty. Okay, hold on. Hold that there. Can you hold it? Mm -hmm. Let's hold it right there. <coughs> or like that. Or like that. Look down there. Look down there in that camera. Say hi. Hi. So who is that? <laughs> That's you. No, who are we talking to? You're just talking to YouTube world. We are talking to ourselves? Kinda, <laughs> for the time being. What All do right, you mean, so here's kinda? 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, you ready to hold that piece of wood? Here, yeah. you can move on the other side. I didn't realize that you were blocking the camera. So hold that. My lovely assistant Bradley is going to hold that for us. Got it? Hold it right. pretty quick. Okay. Stuck. It's stuck. There we go. How's that? <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. Oh, who are we talking to? <laughs> there are all kinds of things happening. People coming and going. Uh, it's my one son, Brian. He's backing out. My brother-in-law's here washing his work van. We're going to put his uh, logo on that sucker. Anyway, there's the new prop. It's on. We're just kind of, like I said, just kind of messing around after work today, getting things done. Uh, and that will probably, again, I mean, there's a little um, locking plate on here that has a little, little tabs you bend up so it won't spin backwards uh, and come off. But with a brand new nut, should be okay. Brand new um, lock nut. Yep. throw another uh, big shout out to the prop shop over in Muckle Teal. Uh, they really helped us out by shipping that thing out pretty quick. It was a couple days back, but uh, they did send it. It, was, it wasn't even overnight. It just got here the next day. Again, we just live across Puget Sound, but still it's pretty cool to get it the next day. And Chris over at the prop shop told me that uh, if it doesn't work for us, send her back and they'll send us another one until we get the right one we want. I think this 15 pitch is going to get us up out of the water. We're going to lose a little top end. But we really don't care. This thing's a slug, and it needs to get on plane quicker, be a little safer out on the water, especially with all the crab gear and junk we take on it. So that'll be kind of nice. So uh, anyway, thanks, Chris, at the prop shop. All right, now we're going to uh, roll back tunnel cover. We're going to install the uh, fifth wheel plate in the tow pig um, in the factory Tow, uh, tow, tow, tow holes, whatever the heck you call them. It's, uh, this thing's set up with the factory tow hitch package for the fifth wheel. So uh, I had to buy a plate, got it from Demco, and uh, I'll have that out here in a second. All right, first things first, I gotta pull these, I gotta pull these pucks out of the back of my truck uh, to get my hitch in there. Let's get after it. This is my lovely assistant, my brother-in-law, Rob. Oh, hi. He's here to, I guess, be some muscle. Blow. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to pull these pucks out of here real quick. And then we can install the, uh, um, the hitch adapter. You ready to lift some stuff out of the shop? Of course. Oh. 
lollygagging would get this over sooner. I know. I'm a, I work for the government. So. <laughs> We're good at gagging lollies. All right, watch them $10 sunglasses. All right, let's pull these guys. Because these go... Uh, so it's lined up there. All right, so we line these up. <clears throat> they go inside the pucks, inside the holes, as my lovely assistant Rob will demonstrate. Then after that, Ouch. careful, she'll bite you. All right, I had a rubber mallet out here somewhere. It's on that box down below. Wait just a sec. Some of them are pretty tight. Assistant. My I've never been it. called that before. Yep, it just fits in just like this. Uh, yeah, this thing just goes just like that. It'll sit there. So this is a uh, 25K uh, fifth wheel plate. We've got a 16K hitch, which will go in at a later time. But because uh, I've got a, we got a flat on the trailer. I got to tow it over to uh, the tire shop. Probably tomorrow or the next day. I got to call him. Hoorah! Thanks for the help. Yeah, man. <laughs> so this concludes our day. Uh, tow pig got the uh, part of the fifth wheel hitch put in. Uh, the boat has a new prop on it. Uh, we have crabbing coming up on July 1st. Uh, King salmon on July 16th. So we're getting ready for the opener. Uh, my other son, Brian, he's the one that was here. Well, my other son. I got two. <laughs> so he's he just got a uh, electric pot puller. It's used, but we got it. I got to wire it. Uh, I had a gas pot puller for this thing, but just heavy, loud, cumbersome. We now have an electric one. I think it's going to be the, the bee's knees when it comes to pulling pots. Uh, we'll possibly, uh, I think we, yeah, we miss shrimping this year. We don't know if we're going to go any shrimp. I'm kind of a pussy when it comes to uh, going out in the water. Uh, I got to stay near shore and I got to take meclizine and patches behind my ears and it's a big weenie. I've never... I went uh, tuna fishing out on the coast, out of Westport. Uh, geez, been going on five, six years ago now, with uh, Offshore Northwest, uh, Captain Carey. If you ever want to go on a really cool tuna trip, Captain Carey's your guy. Uh, Offshore Northwest. Uh, we got into the tuna. It was great, but uh, within two hours, out of a six to eight hour trip, I was chumming over the side, and it was not fun anymore. But the tuna was good. So luckily there's a couple other dudes on board that boat that were a beast. Uh, they were beasts. Uh, we were able to reel in the rest of the fish for all of us weenies. And we've also got, uh, we're, getting, we're getting geared up for bear seasons coming up. We're, we're going to do some predator hunting this year. Uh, the bears and the mountain lions and the coyotes in this state are out of control. Mainly, mainly mountain lions. Uh, I'd like to get over where we hunt elk to take a mountain lion out of there. But I think just taking any mountain lion out of the population would be good. Um, we've got some property over in Eastern Washington where there's a crud ton of them over there too. So, uh, would be nice to get one from over there as well. Um, over there, the quota, Washington state has a quota per county or GMU, I should say game management unit. So, uh, the quota over where our property is in Eastern Washington is there's no quota there. It's, they breed like house cats over there. Uh, and the black bears over on the West side are getting just as bad. So, we're going to try to uh, do some predator hunting this year, uh, getting geared up for bear. Oh, there'll be more videos of that. Uh, got a little surprise coming too, So, because next year uh, we're going to take a trip, and I'll uh, talk about that later. All right. <laughs>